value and an ability to exchange across borders like a money? Then the answer is yes. Does it represent a threat to nation states? Well, take a look at China. They're doing their level best right now to make sure that Bitcoin doesn't exist, if at all possible. However, and I will probably conclude, unless you want me to go on for a little bit, I can conclude on this one note. One of the things that I spent a career doing is getting around the rules and getting around borders and getting around different places in the world where somebody told me I couldn't do something. If you don't trust the currency, if you think there's a better way of exchanging value to your family and your friends, you will use money orders like Hawala. You will use a Bitcoin if possible. Can it be forged? Can it be copied? Is it all that's cracked up to be, et cetera? I ask you simply to take a look at what happens to the regular currency. Is it more subject to something beside that regular currency? I don't know. This guy does. So on that happy note, why don't I sit back and let him talk? Thanks, Thanks Ron. Yeah. Kevin, can you sort of give us some education on the basic aspects of what Bitcoin is? You know, sure. Um, so basically, it, it might get a little bit complicated. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely uh, do my best to, to come up with you know, bridges for you to help understand the, the process. Um, but basically, you know, through all this, just keep in mind, it's, it's dollars computers can exchange to one another. Um, and this dollar, you know, Bitcoin can be written on physical paper if you want to, but in one way or another, it has to talk to another computer if you want to exchange the funds. So um, the way Bitcoin is, is revolutionary is that it, you know, in, encryption, decryption has been, has been around for a while, but Bitcoin was the first to use uh, encryption, specifically asymmetric encryption, to have a value of money, have a value of Bitcoin. And the value of Bitcoin is basically how much people perceive the value to be. Um, this works on a principle of when somebody wants an address, or think of it like a, a PayPal email, what they do is they click a button, whether it be on a program on their computer or using blockchain.com. Um, and basically, it'll create two keys for you. One key is called your public key, and this is your PayPal email address. This key you give to anybody who you want them to send you Bitcoins. And so they'll have this key, and then they'll send funds to this public key. But when you're creating this, you know, it's two sides of the same coin. So when you create this public key, you also create a private key. And this private key you use to unlock all the funds that are sent to this